What's going on? What's going on? Come on in. Hop on in. You already don't know the deal. If you want to ride, hit that like and subscribe. Come on, let's do it. Let's take a ride. Let's go, let's go. So, this past weekend, I had spent some time with my kiddos. Some good old quality times with two of my favorite people in the whole world. Dougie and Gabby. Dookie and Cookie. All right, so um, my son was uh, going through the internet and looking up some naughty things. Mom went through uh, search history through his iPad and saw this naughty list on his iPad. And um, my boy, he, he got that Asian persuasion thing going on over there. He uh, he likes that anime uh, anime girls, you know. He's he's a little kinky, <laughs> but um, I'm cool. I don't know, you know. He's seven. The boy's seven, and I know. And I remember I was seven, eight. You know, I was going through my uncle's um Playboy section. You know, the the, the, the centerfold. You know what I'm saying? The sticky stenophone. I ain't know why it was the pages sticking together, but now that I am of age, Uncle, you nasty. <laughs> but um, so my son through his iPad was going through some um some X-rated videos, and um, so now Mom got on me about that because right, it was under my watch, and I forgot to put that goddamn um that kid proof uh, website thing. So now I got it now. So we're good on that. But <clears throat> got me thinking about my boy and his behavior. And there's some things that I wasn't taught, taught at his age. Cause again, my father figures, you know, we had language barriers and, you know, immigrants, all that stuff. They on a whole different level. But now that we know better, we got to do better, right? So, my son and the days of Me Too, we got to really watch these kids and their behaviors, right? So, my boy was always been girl crazy ever since um, daycare, you know what I'm saying? Uh, kindergarten. When you start going to school in kindergarten, He's always like, uh, how was your day in school? Oh, man, I got his girlfriend, and she likes me, and blah, blah, blah. Every girl. Now he's in third, second grade. He's been doing this for three years, so I know he's girl crazy. And now that he's going through the porn, or the, uh, the X-rated stuff, um, now I got to have a, the talk with him, all right? Me and Mom already had the birds and beat talk with him about last summer already. But now... It's me and him, mano and mano. I have to have a man talk with him about girls. Okay? So, I go to his room. And, uh, Dougie, you know, we talked about the X-rated stuff. And, you know, every time I ask him a question, again, he don't know. He's just shy. And, um, you know, I get it. So, I... Asked him about his girlfriend at school, and he gleefully comes out. Oh no, I don't have a girl. I have three girlfriends, <laughs> and he names them. And um, and then he said he got another crush on the side or something. You know, he just all girl crazy, right? And then I asked him, "Do they like you back?" I say, "Yeah, yeah. They they always uh we always talking, and they all know." I said, "Okay, fine. They eight eight nine year olds so they really don't but here's one thing that he doesn't know aware of and this is when girls starts to learn how to manipulate okay so it's a big word and he ain't know you know he 
he repeated it, but he don't know what it means. Okay, so, all right, Dougie, here we go. One day, for instance, you can go to school and you like to wear your fedoras. One girl is gonna come. It could be an ugly girl or a cute girl, but she'll come and snatch your hat from you, all right? And she's gonna run off. While you run off, you'll be mad. Hey, give me back my hat. And you're gonna chase her, all right? She's gonna run and you're gonna chase. She might play the, you know, here, there, and just give back and, you know, playing the old Lucy and Lionel trick. Or Lucy on, a, on um, the peanuts, you know. She might give to you and not give back. But it's gonna be a hustle and tussle back and forth with her. And then she's gonna run and you're gonna run, she's gonna run into a corner. And the first thing she's gonna do is she's gonna take your hat or whatever it is, she's gonna put it under her blouse or under her skirt, right? Now you're gonna run up to her and you're gonna do what, Dougie? He looks up and he got his eyes surprised and he's just this. It's very good. Cause you know you're not supposed to touch him, right? All right. She knows that, that you're not supposed to touch her too. You know that, right? Right, okay. So now she's gonna make you do something to earn your hat back. And he's looking befundled. He's like, what? That's my hat. Yeah, she's gonna make you do something. If you want your hat, you gotta get, go do something. She might say, for instance, uh, go get me two pencils. If you want your hat back, go and get me two pencils, All right. So Dougie's sitting there like, okay. So I make him go downstairs and get two pencils. Right, I have his fedora, and he's like, "Come on, Dad! Like, just for giggles, shit and giggles, let's do what I say. Just go downstairs and find me two pencils." So he goes downstairs, takes about three or four minutes. He runs up back upstairs. While he's running back upstairs, I take his hat and I put it under his bed, under his pillow. He comes upstairs. Okay, here's the pencils. Where's my hat? I take the pencils away from him. And I said, oops, I forget. I don't know what I do with your hat. And he's frustrated. Come on, Dad, where's my hat? I don't know. Come on, Dad, you know where my hat at. Right? So he's going along. He's kind of frustrated. And I'm showing him how, example, how little girl starts with this. All right? You're gonna run off, do your task. The time you come back, she's gonna change her mind, hide it, or she might get it. She might have your hat. After you get the pencils, she's gonna throw your hat. That's another way. And she's gonna go make you go get it again. All right, here's your hat. Here's your ugly hat. And boom, flick it. After you did all that nice gesture, you come back with your pencils and the hat. Now I ask them. Now, Dougie, you think is that fair? And he sat there, he scratched his head. But that's my hat. Yeah, and she took it away from you. And she's a cute girl. You like her, right? Hold on right there, we're going through a tunnel. And you like her, but she's gonna make you do something grown men call, you can't repeat this, the shit test. He said, ooh, you curse. Yes, I know. But girls learn how to do this at your age. And I'm letting you know when it happens, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to chase her? When she puts the hat under her blouse, what are you going to do? Because you know you can't touch her, right? So what are you going to do? So before you answer that, I tell them, you're gonna fall for it either way. We all fall for it. Sometimes it depends who you fall for, but you gotta know, I know she's manipulating me. This is the word manipulating. This is where that comes from, you know? So I'm trying to break it down to him in bite size so you can get it. I know that she's manipulating me, but I'm gonna do it anyway to see what else comes from it. 
but I'm gonna let her do it one time. Don't let her get her twice, okay? So he sit there and trying to scratch his head. Okay, I think I got it. So I'm trying to tell him, you're, you know, you're girl crazy. You like cute girls, and this is how cute girls do all guys. So I want you to be aware. Girls get men in trouble. Okay. Now if you look in jail, all right. Our color. I tell my son. Ninety percent of them are in there over a woman. All right. And he's like, how? How so? Okay. Now these are some words that women use to make guys feel softer. I'm going to show you these words. Alright? If a woman comes, if a girl tells you, oh, Dougie, please do this for me. I'll do anything. Alright? Boys think anything means anything. Alright? The same thing with their hat. Anything means I'm going to change my mind. Okay? So, if you do anything for her, when you come back and try to cash in your coupon, she's going to change her mind. All right? You got to remember this. And when it happens, you cannot be upset, is what I'm trying to tell my son. Because these are how they survive. So he looks at me, so lying is okay? I'm like, no, 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 no. I tell my son, women have to manipulate guys to survive. And he says, by lying, well, sometimes white lies and real lies, but it's on them. I can't explain white lies to you right now because you're still... And I don't want you lying to me or mom, white lies or otherwise. But when you get older, you're going to see the difference. And women have to do this to survive. If they don't do this, they'll be dead. They'll be eaten by tigers and bears and lions. All right. I'm trying to explain to my son, by the way. If you guys have any other uh, comments and have a better way of explaining this, please put it in the comments so I could uh, interact with you so I can explain to my son a better way of how to be careful. When um, the hat trick that women, that girls do at an early age, uh, seven, eight, nine years old, is a, is a bully tactic. You know, a lot of our boys are being bullied by black girls that I call pit bulls <laughs> pit bull chicks you know um, but again with the with the hat trick and making him do the shit test and now all girls do that but again in our community it's kind of more um, it's, it's kind of more hardcore um, so back to my son when I'm trying to tell him that be careful how pretty girls or ugly girls too, they will say anything to make you do something for them. That's how it works. They need to quote unquote lie to get guys to do something for them. Okay. Again, there's a lot of men in prison over women they'll rob a bank they'll jack a car they'll fight another man they'll kill another man over a girl what a girl says so really be careful and know when you're being manipulated all right that's a big word for my son to learn right now but he have to learn that once a girl make you do something that you really don't want to do, but she'll start saying things like, I'll do anything, 
or what's another word? I love you, Dougie. Don't you love me? Won't you do something like that for me? Those are loaded, loaded questions. So be careful, baby. I'm telling my sons this already. If you have a son at this age, you got to tell him about these bullies, especially, you know, that um, these fast girls, these fast girls get your son caught up by these little tricks, you know. We have a problem in our community that a lot of our boys, teenager boys, hear that girls like thugs, all right? Oh, I want a thug, I want a thug, I want a thug, I want a, I want a, um, a roughneck type, you know? So, our young, impressionable teenage sons hear this and then wants to be a gangster rapper or studio gangster, whatever you call them, you know? Because that's what they hear in the streets that what these girls want. So it all starts with these pit bulls, chicks. You know? So, if we don't get this this narrative right, especially with our young girls and what they want, you're telling our guys what you, you want, and then when you get him, you get something that you don't want, you know? You want a, you want a thug nigga, you want a rough neck out in these streets, but you think he'll come home and be a teddy bear towards you? You think you want a Tupac in a suit? So, you got our boys twisted up. The moral of the story, I'm telling my son that um, girls will manipulate you. It's part of the game. But I want you to be aware of when they're doing it. Let them give them one time. If they do it again, you know what's happening. You know? And then stop it. So, if she runs with your hat, you chase her. She puts it under her blouse. Let her have it. Walk away. It's the moral of the story. You get another hat. Ah, you can have it. Is what I told my son. If you know anybody the way how to handle the situation, because I, I, I'm a new dad myself. I don't have one son. And since we're, um, I'm a divorced dad, it's kind of hard to uh, uh, raise them the way I wanted to 24 seven. Now that I'm a weekend dad, I'm a Disney dad. Um, I have to have my lessons more hard hitting. So every time I see him, he knows the lecture. I don't have to keep repeating it. You know what I'm saying? And I don't have one or two chances to say it as he's going up faster and faster. I don't, I don't see him as much. 24 hours like I did when we were a unit. Now that we're separated, I'm a weekend dad. You know what I'm saying? So these um, these truths I need to tell him now. And dads, if you're out there and you got any any uh, pointers that you could share with me, share in the comments. And um, I need to tighten it up. We need to tighten this up, guys. And we need this. I need your help. You know what I'm saying? Like and subscribe and watch another video. I got some more dad stories and some divorce stories. <laughs> so, um, you know, it is what it is. You know, check the next video out.